Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Prince Comrade Lushola Adegwe, uh, connecting you from Milano, Italy. Uh, if you can remember a month ago or thereabouts, I said a day like this we come where we need to talk about life in Europe and how we make our money in Europe. Because if you don't remember where you are coming from, in short, you will not even know where you are going. Sometimes we have to look back, even though it's not the real looking back from your mind, from your thinking, from your mystic. You look back so that you reset yourself you readjust people say ah oh god we like your story do you know if i've ever tell you 200 stories 199 is my true life story and thanking god for the person i am that one i am not ashamed because I know what I have done is not a shameful thing in the process of hustling, struggling, working, traveling. Before you say A, I will say B because when you say Nadama, I know I went to work for one hotel. I don't already tell you say I work for a hotel. Now that month, I know I want dating site. E, I don't already tell you say see when I enter Europe, they say na dating site to catch your ego. So almost everything I've said about myself, about stories, they are my stories. How do you get stories, even though you are still very much young? From the background you hear from, from where you have worked, from your friend. Tell me your friend and I show you who you are. Tell me your friend or show me your friend and tell you who you are. From the work I have done. So when I want to really talk story of my life, it's like, ah, how can this thing happen to this man? How old is he? How old are you? Okay, I met a woman who talk much, who understand Europe, who understand government, and uh, who talk like the way most people should talk and reason. And the way most of us are also talking here and reasoning good. I said, wow, if only you can come to our show and talk like this that will encourage me and you you and i to share our experience and she said yes she's gonna try so we'll be giving her the opportunity today and if you don't mind you can also call in and i want to start with myself because my story is very long but i'm going to cut it short in 1995, anyway, I am born into a family of Mr. which is Prince Adeboye, he from Ose local government, Ifo, in Ondo state. Married to one Mrs. Taye. And Taye in their local government means Odion. Odion is from a family of twin. Yes. So, and in those days, they do think we are rich. Yes, they do think these people, they are rich. And what makes them think we are rich? My father, a military man, a soldier man, then they said my father was working in, uh, at a time, work as storekeeper. Storekeeper, that is where you have food, you have a uh, uniform, boots, and all those things. So at a time, whether it's good, I don't know what he was doing, whether it was uh, abusing office, I don't know. He had the opportunity to break all this uniform they are not using again. They will remove your rank, remove the labor, they will share it to farmers. Almost all the villagers in my mother's village, 
they wear khaki to farm and all that. Then he also used army vehicle sometimes to bring food, stock fish, all kind of food, they will share it. And not that there are no soldiers in my mother's village, but they say they are afraid. You know, a prophet is not honoring his soul village. The soldiers in my mother's village, they don't used to come home. They are afraid. Now here we take the here, say so so has then get soldier. But my mother, my father that is from another state, he is not afraid to come home to his wife. So they now see us, even those when you go to primary school, then secondary school, all this army bag. You will see many students. When my father share it to them, they will use it to go to school. Even me, I use that army bag to go to school. So they now see us like we are rich. Because too much food, my mother go to Kotonu, buy crud, go to Aswani, go to all these Lagos market, buy bear, okay bear. You no know, people will be buying. She sell it cheap anyway so that people can afford it. So they think we are rich, kind of. Then my father now traveled Liberia. Though my father do travel Russia for training and all that. My father he was an instructor in Nigeria Army. He was a captain in a hockey prayer representing one, two, three battalion brigade of guide. Guide I mean. So they see like we are okay. Then my father came from Liberia with so many cameras. With so many cameras. Photo camera, then video camera was not yet in vogue. Professional photo camera, my other brother, they sold some, they now kept one for family picture, a photo and all that, which my immediate elder brother later turned to business. After he passed out from secondary school, he gave it to me. I was in Lagos, I moved to Abuja. When I came to visit from Abuja to 1995, uh, nobody was using the camera. Then I decided to do the same business my brother was doing with the camera. I see that there is money. Oh, uh -uh. there is money, and I became very popular. Village champion. I enter business. That means I enter business fully in 1995. To call the story short. So, from 1995. The business was moving, I become a cameraman, professional one, a video cameraman, professional one, EBS, radio station, uh, NTA, Hero Ekman, Asaba. We were collaborating. Any show I record, they will come and ask me as a village champion. So, so thing that they say happened. So, so wrote the commission. They say you video, they were buying, some, although they were using me, I was happy. They were, you know, when I want to do any advert, they will take less money. Because they are using me. Then I became no, like I thought I was no. Because then my mother bought me Renault 9. As at 1998, my mother bought me Renault 9. Then I was using Renault 9 to carry all my working material to everywhere with my boys. I was doing live video, put television in your occasion, you will show everything, you know, kind of. I was I, I was really popular, but staying in uh, some uh, in, in a village in uh, some villages back in uh, those states. So, taking the money I am making is not enough because I later got some money. I have a uh, baby Benz, which is my I said it's one ninety padded. Have some cars, half boys working for me. In short, it's like I was the one covering almost half of uh, those states then. So, going back to Bini, we hear Mode, So to So, and many others. We are just doing things together. So, I think of it, say, opportunity has come. Whichever way it comes, let us not talk about that. I moved to abroad. And when I was going to abroad, I never understand that there is what they call asylum. Because we thought abroad is easy. You come, you carry, you go, you know. Before Kwanan uh, sang his song, Abiyah, they tell they speak the English, I uh, will chop your dollar, I will take your money, disappear. I say, wow, if I reach abroad now, dollar full everywhere, I take and disappear. 
I won't, I did not say anything to travel. I just told them I'm coming. I'm coming. I when I'm coming, I'll bring camera. I will transform it to a television station. I will register television. I thought I would come and pick money in abroad. Then when I enter abroad, bang bang. It just will be me like say, make I go back that very day. How? Everywhere dry. I was thinking, how did they make money for this abroad? I know they see company. I know they see most of their company they industrial area. I know they see anything. Everywhere just dry. Only who I go me will carry money, come at 50 euro, buy something, pin, do all those things. I say, these people they are not even discussing business with me on when I go go start uh, work and where is the work. The abroad said don't they tire me. I don't they miss that kind of hate and they hate me for village. I they drive my moto, everybody they cut hand for me. I don't they miss and say no no no. This abroad not being before I know what happened, my body they tear, my body just they remove skin, they peel out, all my body turn white. If I bath, bedroom go full, be like say my body don't want finish. I say no no no, this abroad I can't stay. Before co say come come. Ah. Co con con, no one when I know fit take. To cut the story short, the kind of business when I don't understand who I mean, say now nah, would they do? I say no, 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 I can't do this type of business. We can't get fights. Not be say fight, I can't fight and still they fear. Not be say refight or oh, argument. He say if I'm not ready to do that business, I have to leave his house. Leave your house to where now? Nah? I don't know anywhere. Say the only help you can help me, you have to take me to camp. Where be camp? He said, Go seek asylum. What is asylum? To, to go, I don't know what is asylum. What is asylum? He say, If you reach there, tell them for Nigeria, say they want to kill you, this and that. I say, Hey, but they don't want to kill me. Wait, he said, But they know they give Nigeria, but if you talk away, they'll give you. If you not talk away, you meet yourself for Nigeria. So all this thing was still a threat. For me to succumb to say I want to do that business, I don't want to measure the business. I say I know they do. So, like I know they do, like say na threat, na threat. In just two weeks, this guy carried me, boom, reach train ticket, train, he bought train ticket for me. Say this train ticket will take you to where they call Zavena in Holland. When you reach Zavena, tell them you are looking for a silo center. Yeah. And before then, he take my crowd, he save anything. Mark when follow my crowd, when they move on. He take all this small money, 200 euro when he follow me. Come, he stay if they see anything for my hand, they know grant me asylum. Even better covers, better covers. He say, No, you don't need to wear covers, just wear, wear slippers. Wear slippers. Then they say, Now, so you take on for Nigeria. Eh? I'm not going to get papa, get mama. Now, so, and that country, not be green speaking country. I never hear Dutch or Netherlands. So I begin, I read there, I ask, police say, write another paper, give me, say, not be there, now tear up, tear up again, I want to go. That tear up, according to the journey, that they still reach three hours, two hours. After I reach Zaven at midnight, um, night, not midnight. So before I can reach tear up, now, the last bus, they say, don't close. Now, there my favor start. One way, both self, when you miss bus, say, he ready to take taxi and go with me to Terrapun. So oh my God, before I reached Terrapun, it was around two midnight. Story start. Time God said they not we ask me question. If to say they ask me question, I know we we'll see which I want to talk. Oh, now deportation, the person want to deport me. But thank God, they not we call me for interview. I can't they meet with the royal boys. They come they ask me say which one be your matana. I say mataka. I not get mata oh. They say they too say not get now, but they still they use one way, one way, one way. Now so that they take put me through. To God be the glory, I suffer, I suffer when we say. Then the time when has the hungry me, it can't pass. The has not come the hungry me again. But has not the hungry me again, but I shame say no will let me go back. I don't I don't have anything. All my village, all my state, they say this guy don't travel. Now shame don't enter me. I wanted to go back, I can't go back because they say everybody don't hear say I travel. In the process of trying to make it, I can't make it. I am suffering the more. Go back, I can't go back. Then I can't discover, I say inside, inside camp. Some people they wash toilet, they can't still knock for our door. Say now now they wash toilet today. 
Now we the wash toilet today, yes. They say we'd be like four for inside room. They say each uh, now two euro for uh, one room. That would be four. That means 50, 50 cent. I manage, I bring 50 cents. I don't want to talk as I can't take the get 50 cents to how many months so it cannot be only me will talk my story today. I bring 50 cents. I give them. That is two euro. Black man, can't see they watch that toilet. I can't see, I don't say that special people when they walk over. I can't see say the guy when we they queue up to go sign say we did we did here, maybe every Wednesday. The guy said queue when they can't wash our toilet. I can't ask. I say, I think say this person is a special worker for you. They say no. Now still as the sick. Anybody when no one when no one wash toilet by themselves, they'll give her money, go wash. I say hey. Now I go out, now I go house to house. I want to wash toilet too. They look me, they say I'm fine. You Nigeria don't, don't wash toilets. They say Nigeria no they wash toilets. I be Nigeria I say I say I want to wash toilets. I drag with that one, I start to wash toilets. I'll go room to room. I want to wash toilet too. My business is running good in Africa. But I don't want to take money from Africa. And I know I want to see like a challenge. Say if I am still thinking I am rich, if I'm still thinking I have business running, I will not make it in this abroad. I begin wash toilet. So now so I can see say where did they sign again, the right time with English. Say if you know, say you can repair bicycle, you can bab hair, you can come and apply. Now I go meet the people. I say, I did repair Bessico at the Babel. Where I found repair Bessico? I remember 1995. Sport Bessico, when my papa they use. I did take and they snap picture around. And if the Bessico spoil anytime, carry go meet a repairer. Whatever the repairer is doing there, but we always look. The next time I don't give repair, I'll do it. So if I say everything bicycle, I don't learn that. Now so I start to repair bicycle. They were paying me. I come the bab here there because in my in my studio there was a saloon, my old saloon. I sometimes when they are doing Christmas, when everybody busy, I'll the bab children oh, take and they learn. And so I take bab here. I bab here, I still they wash toilet in the night. Then I repair Bessico for inside camp. I can't be like say I'll be big man. Guess what? I'll still gather and I'll go send her to my family in Africa. And I look like person when they village. I never look like who they are brought. Before the contour say they'll feel give me person pali make I take the work. I can't they happy, they can't send me to hotel. Person go help me do the interview, they carry me, they go to the hotel. The hotel is called Golden Tea Loop. Golden Tea Loop Hotel, everywhere, even in Nigeria. That is my first work in abroad, the normal work and hotel work. I was happy. They reach there, they say, I can work. They say, now 12 hours, they give me. Now, I tell them, they say, 24 hours, not day. Because I think, say, <laughs> I can work even 100 hours, sleep there and make money. I don't know, say, power, they finish you. Oh. Again, my mama language, they'll say, I have forever. I think say na la no say power they finish. I think say power can reduce, it will come up. My power finish in that hotel. So I can't start the hotel. To start with, if I enter bus go before I close for night, bus not day gay and a bush. Now that time no say we both get animal, animals, we both get this bush pig when they shop person for Nigeria. If you dare. There are many, not be one, not be two. If they pass today, like say cow, they pass through, you go wait or go distance. They will pass many before you feel pass. So, Oibo now, when they they happy, say, I sabi work. Make una let me sleep anywhere for hotel, even within the compound. No, they say it's not in their law. I should go. Oh, let me come trek for that bush. Or if I trek for the bush, where me say they go nowhere, bus don't close. I'll go sit down for bus station. I will sleep. If they break now, nah, I cannot go back home. If they don't break, I'll come back on resume work. Before one Yoruba man can't sell bicycle for me. Not sell better bicycle for me. Oh. Can't sell one small picking bicycle for me. Maybe see if I the ride and sell back, say they pay me. That one I don't go. Maybe we cut and small small. So when I they work for the hotel, you know, to watch plates, you, you push and you preach with the load down for the load down for machine. 
When machine wash after you consult and different different any pot when something day you carry and cover you will pass machine come you take hand scraper. If place not there they will say make a see arrange and go serve people for inside. I can't join people for kitchen. Don't talk to chef. Now so I work so day with fourteen hours with twelve hours. Sometime on Saturday I will just work no closing. Now she say my power don't they finish you. Oh. <sighs> I think say I tire. I sleep, I wake up, my power finish. Ah, uh, power they finish. Not be one person rest, power will come. My power finish. I go hold plates like this for kitchen. Oibo will they tell me, say, are you okay? I will say, I'm okay. That's okay. Go and drink coffee, drink tea, drink some water, take some minutes. I will take minutes, come back. Only one month when I don't work, my power finish. My power, I say, he not reduce, he finish. Then I can't tell the Yoruba man when he help me look for work. I say, Oga oh Prince. I beg, he get one thing that they call local Z boost for Nigeria. He did here. And there's one thing they call local Z tablet. He did here, glucose tablet. The man. Whether you know Greek go where I send that, I don't know, I never know anywhere. The man can say, you know, they want to, my, I almost spent for work, he can't bring it one day. I just they pack and put for my day, eat them. I eat them, I see, say, power not come back. This one I talk to, I know, say, if they say you cruise, if I cruise, for me, if I trek, go where my bicycle day, if I carry my bicycle, I don't get power to climb and ride down. You will be saying that the best could come, they support me, how they roll and they go, how they roll and But when I reach where, when I roll and reach, say, the place far to reach where bus stop day. I never reach where bus stop day, how they look best could, because best could come, they are working still for me, saying that they support me. I will come look and I will come still ride best school. If I ride best school, will be like, say, whether I'm me the top of the best school, I've been a best school, the top of me. I don't come know. And I did camp, now money won't keep me, so I've been a waiting. Now nah, one day now nah, I just run. Power not come back. Oh. It to say power come back. I for do. I walk so till my power finish. Now nah, I run. And I say I don't walk again. Both come they call me. They call me. I tell them say I don't go start language. Could they say they will sponsor me from university? Anything I want. Say company will sponsor me. I say umba. I no agree. They call me so till I can't still like say I don't get transport taken. They say they will pay. They are even coming to pick me. I say no. I say I don't work again. When I see say there is they because they know say they don't overuse me. I meet a bo man there. Instead of we to become two now, work when two people not even do. They can't live and follow me. My power run down. They see say I they die, they go. Ibo see they tell me say drink coffee, drink tea. You can take five minutes rest. You can take two ten minutes rest. I say this is not a bad rest. My power, I'm not gaining it. That's why I tell run. When I see so Ibo see they call me, I can't cuckoo. Change my SIM card because easy to change SIM card. And meanwhile, the ABA when I take the work, not be me get them. Because even if you both send me to school, you know, go, I know if you tell them, say that ABA not be my own. Even if I work, so tell the person they get credit. And meanwhile, they, they pay to the person's account. This money I'm talking about, not be me, they commit. They are paying to the person's account. The person will decide how much to give me. Even the agreement money, when we I agree, I can't work excess hour, hours. So now, this time when they get like 800, they come, they got most 1006. It comes to they give me the first basic salary, say, in case I work 800 a month. This is my percentage. So now, me come overwork, my power even disappear. This person comes to they give me the same money. So what am I killing myself for? Now, nah, they run. Not be the co worker. Oh. You know how many times I sleep? I tell say I sleep uh, outside. That's why when I sleep for train station, for box station, not be normal weather. Oh. Now weather when be say if you your hand when it inside pocket, if you remove them, carry a comma say if you want to put them back to pocket, you know we know where pocket there. Your hand will stiff. If you hold key, if you carry key, you want to open your bicycle. If you feel hold the key, not be say you feel hold and wear tight to, but if you feel hold on, you know feel put on for the mat of bicycle, may you take open on. Now inside that kind of cone, I am sleep. No cut and short. I don't get 
Whether na limonia they recall and when co calls me, I treat her for Europe so they we both say they cannot do anything about it. I have to pay ticket to Nigeria before I even reach come off airport. I don't know say I the sick again. The code don't finish. I pay ticket to country co for Nigeria. Guess where I work when I when co catch me inside the where they do all this uh, all this thing what would they eat salad all this mixed fruit they will cut salad cut uh, carrot all those things beans na na freezer the whole building will be like say na snow the day I just start work there or we both say na day I will go work. But I see everybody when they walk, when they enter inside, they wear something like say the same way that they wear now for for this COVID nineteen. This doctor will cover your face, wear boot. Oh, they both not give me boot. They not give me hand growth. They not even tell me say if I they come for this kind of place, this is what I need. Oh, they both say me I go work there. They give me sh shovel. I tell they pack those snow because the snow will just full ground. Now so I see say my body just stiff. My from my head to toe stiff. I see say. Oh, Ibo no one exchange me now. Come out there. Come out there. Tell and say I see. Oh, Ibo still say me I go back there. So being the first day at work, I manage. Made the not say I lazy. I reach us. I no feel get up. Now so the thing they enter my body. But all this one, my story will complete another day. But all this one, I was sending the money home to Nigeria. Anytime I don't remember to send, they will call me to send. I now sent money from the very year I entered abroad, the 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I sent money for good 7, 8 years. When I returned to Nigeria, I did, they were not having one cent account to give. They couldn't give account of one cent. So, every opportunity I had there, story, until 2015, when I start coming to Nigeria by myself, bringing trailer by myself, doing everything by myself, that is what raised me to where I am today. The time I used to serve them, and the time I used to serve myself, my time was very little, few years, I made it. But what are, why are we saying this? People think because they don't want to talk about how they make their money, they make people feel that money is easy. Because when they say brick, with the story they tell us, we will always brick. When they say brick, we will not eat. You don't say for abroad when money, they went food. They are don't starve myself so that I can send money to Africa. Do you know whether or not spaghetti they call it, this long, long one, whether or not it be macaroni or spaghetti? I ate spaghetti almost for a year in the camp the little money baby everything i get i was saving it i was still sending it back to family at home so people think europe we must come europe it is where europe they pick money on the floor when you tell people now europe is not easy your guy is not easy you they build house but you should remember the sacrifice it took me to reach where it's becoming easy. And you should know if you come, you are supposed to pass through that same process. So if I tell you Europe is not easy, it doesn't mean it's not easy for me now. It means all this process, you may pass through it. You may pass through all this process. So if you ask me, if I want to tell you truth, I will tell you truth about before not now i'll tell you how i will tell you how i passed what i went through before i became who i am today if i command money in europe money will come today if i command work in europe your money will come today if i command journey traveling in the whole world it will come but mind you this story is just nothing compared to what I went through in abroad. So while we were discussing, a lady now said similar things and we not talk about Africa, we not talk about religion. I say, wow, you talk as if we went through the same struggle, same school and all that. 
Today, you will be given opportunity to talk to people and now we are going to call her in to talk. So, listen my brothers and sisters. People say I am down to earth. It's my nature. If I tell you I suffer before, you think it's an advantage, gone are the days. If I tell you what I have done for a living, you think I am too cheap, that is your problem. But I know people who go street to street and beg money. They will tell you big. They will tell their family, oh, uh, hello, I'm at work now, please. That money you say I should send, I'm going to send it Saturday, but hold on. My Ibo now, my my Ibo, me and my Ibo, they do one thing now. They, they wear it, they beg, oh, they're not fit to say, hey, you know, say, you know, easy, I'm begging here. Yeah, don't disturb my begging. They talk big. We know say cloth is not expensive in abroad. They will carry BB cloth where? So we go to where they, they sell cloth, they will use that cloth dress, take picture. They will return and they not go buy. You people are causing more problems to yourself. They know they pick money for abroad. Because you know how many years I have stayed in abroad. So this story is just like a minute out of one million hours. So we will continue. You will encourage the world, those who make money and they don't use it well, those who make money and uh, they, they believe that their parents were using it well, these are the comments you're going to put here. These are the call you're going to call after the lady in question. Abroad, remember it was the process of coming to abroad that people died in Libya, so abroad has never been easy. Anybody that tell you abroad is easy because they make it, and you also believe because you can make it, be ready for war. Abroad is good. But if I did not speak out like this, you would think that guy when he just go that day, now they say they build houses, if they do this, you will not understand. The abroad is open for everybody to everybody. But when they say go and make it, pastor tell you, say go, your star is bright. Let that pastor also tell you there are so many bridges to cross. Spiritually, let you see this bridge. What are the bridge? All these things I went through. And I thought I am the one that suffered most. When some people tell me their whole story, I will just keep quiet. I can't remember to say my own. Then comes to paper. People did this country, uh, Europe, abroad. 20 years, they don't have document. 20 something some don't have. 15 years they don't have. 10 years they don't have. 8 years they don't have. But they are forcing themselves to do what document can do so that their people will say, yeah, my son is in abroad, my sister, my brother is in abroad. They are stressing themselves to do what document is supposed to do to cover up the shame. Don't be ashamed. Let them laugh at you and leave you alone. Speak out. Speak out. I say speak out. You, you are the one killing yourself because waiting you not be, you they say you be a for abroad. You are ashamed to tell your mother the truth. You are ashamed to tell your siblings the truth. You are ashamed to tell your parents the truth in where you are living and what you are doing. Even if you are doing road work, open your mouth and tell your brother, please, this money I'm sending, you are asking me for more. I am into prostitution. I don't like it. I don't like what I'm doing. I have to do it for a living, but I don't like it. Tell your family what you are doing. And remember, you cannot do this forever. You need to settle yourself. Go and settle yourself. Settle yourself. Settle yourself out of this mess, out of this shit. And stop pretending. And stop buying favor. And stop buying honor. Don't buy honor. If you like, after listening to my own personal story, don't honor me. I don't buy honor. I earn honor. I work for honor. Yes. You should avoid buying honor. You cannot give. You struggle to give so that they will say, yeah, you are doing well. You are not doing well at all. And if you don't leave your friends and family out of this, your struggle, you will never rise because you must reach the top before you start dragging somebody along. All right, if you are watching me, uh, Mrs. or uh, Miss uh, Lisa Osa or Sas, 
uh you can call in on whatsapp line let's talk to our people let's talk to the government let's talk about religion religion in africa and religion in the western world if you don't if you are watching me you can call in if you are not watching after a minute i'm going to call you no no we are not asking people to call in yet we want this lady that we are hosting today to call in although i took her time because i never meant i i never knew that i was going to be touched to talk now i know my story was set for a very good day although today is a good day as well my story was set for a, day, a beautiful day like this and i believe i was going to say my story uh, the way it all started a day part one part two part three until i'm done to my present time now so who know me no say i don't shame i don't carry another person body cover myself for life no we are born and raised at a military camp to me but i decide to stay with my mother in the village and be doing a photographer but although it, it, it affected me a lot because it affected my education if i was in lagos with my daddy like every other person though school is free better school at the cantonment i attended army modern primary school i was supposed to attend army day and army command command whatever which i i i, I missed the opportunity but otherwise nothing spoiled all right, we are going to call this woman. I believe she is not watching. If she's, you know, sometimes people keep to Europe time, not Africa time. So if we cannot get her, then we will allow any other person to call in. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you Hello? can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? All right, let me call back again. But you can hear me now. All right, con yeah, I hear you loud and clear. I think it's my connection. Uh, what you do, just tell us your name and your country of residence, then we may ask a question. Okay. Um Good afternoon to you, sir, Mr. Olushala Adeboye. And to the viewers. Thanks for... Uh... Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, I say you should say hello to the viewers yes, as well. Yes, I'm hearing you a little bit, but can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I mean you should say hello okay. to the viewers. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, hold on. I think we have some issue here. Okay, uh, what I was actually doing, I wanted to boost the sound, but uh, let's talk this way. Okay, which one do you prefer? Uh, because you are not hearing me, but they can hear you, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue if you can hear. Are you sure you are not watching us at the same time? Uh, 
I let me advise you in case you are watching, don't watch us. Even though you are watching us, don't read comment and don't uh, don't let there be audio. Break down the audio of that device and concentrate on your phone. Okay, let me try something. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. It's the Olushola Adeboye. Uh, my name is Lisa Osa. Uh, I live in Italy. Go ahead. Hello. Okay. Earlier, earlier uh, today, I'm... earlier today, we had the opportunity to know contact each other and uh, while talking i find out that you talk much about uh, life in abroad and that of africa okay uh, yeah. now we want you to first of foremost talk about the religion you talk about today because today you were saying uh, some problem we have is religion because in africa uh, we are building more churches. Why in abroad? Yeah. Why in abroad? Even those who, who brought a Christianity or religion, they are building more uh, opportunities like uh, companies, exactly. employment. So go ahead yeah. and feel free and uh, say something related to that. Okay, you know, uh, I've been I've been outside now for for two decades now. And, and what I experience here is, or should I say what I learned here, you understand? Yeah. And then um, I saw these people, they brought religion to us. They told us about Christianity. But if you walk through their streets, you can't find sick church. You can't find churches everywhere. You understand? Yeah. All you see is shop where people sell, where people open their own shop, where they employ people. But in Africa, we build more churches than uh, companies. We engage the youth in coming to church every day from Monday to Saturday. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Why here, from Monday to Saturday, we are working. And sometimes I do go to work on Sunday. You get my point? Yeah. So... Why we Africans that live here cannot learn something? Yeah. You understand? So we're talking about having the future leaders in our country. These future leaders, what are they learning? Because even some of the things they learn in the Bible. The Bible also talk about uh, talk about the leader, talk about the youth, you know, talk about job. You understand? Yeah. It never condemns the name. But it is so sad and unfortunate that our pastors, the leaders, the religious leaders we look up to, are not telling us the truth. You understand me? Yeah. So here we work from Monday to Saturday. And in Africa, you see people engaged from Monday to Sunday going to church. Of course, they will ask you for money because they are not working. You understand? Yeah. And even in the church, Whenever you see some young people, they work as usher, uh, uh, they sing as a choir, our religious leader make them to understand that work for God and sing for God. Mm. And it's in the Bible that when you have someone in your choir, you have to be paying him or paying her monthly. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So the day I discovered that in the Bible, I was like, really? So... Why is it coming from work for God? If you want to work for God, let it come from your heart. But our leaders, our religious leaders, instead of telling us the truth, they always talk about prosperity, having husbands, uh, having children, you know, those that want to marry. That is all we hear from our society. That is all we hear from our religious leaders. You understand me? Mm. Then here... How will you expect a young boy that attends church from Monday to Sunday to get money mm. to feed on? Of course, he cannot get money. But we are working here. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm not working tomorrow. I'm going to church. But on Monday, I'll start work. And sometimes I don't even go to church. Sometimes on Sunday, I go to work. Emergency. OK. 
Okay. You get me? Yeah. I am not against anybody not to serve, not to serve their God, but I'm only saying they should apply wisdom. I'm only saying that um, because there is a say that traveling is part of education, mm -hmm. but it's obvious that some of us is not, some of us are not learning from the traveling. Mm -hmm. You understand? As you are talking, right I read some comment while someone asking you, ah, you are still fresh like this, and you said abroad is not easy. Mm. I'm an Italian citizen. You understand? Mm. Don't just see my passport as an Italian citizen. There is a journey. There is a journey before I got to that point when I was having my passport. There is a time that I shed tears. There is a time that I slept in the street. There is a time, as you can see my skin, I am very beautiful. But I walk in the farm. People don't understand. It's only people who are close to me. I walk in the town, season of tomatoes, season of fruits. Also, you understand? Yeah. You see, when, we, when we're getting ready to come to Nigeria, what do we do? We try to look good. We start buying our clothes a little bit. You know, we know the one we are going to give out. We know the expensive one. People that want to say the truth, they are listening to me. They know what I'm talking yeah. about. We try to like um, buy the clothes, the one we are going to use because we are working. The money is quite expensive, and we buy the one that we want to give to people. We take time to maintain ourselves so that when we show to Africa, we will look good yeah. in the eyes of everyone. You understand? Yeah. You see some people in the street today, they take picture with people's car, they go to shop, boutique, they take picture, oh, this is my boutique, my husband just opened it for me. Mm. Enough of all these fake lives. Mm. We can't continue this kind of packaging. You you you, you get my point now. Yeah. So I also have something that uh, our religious leaders mm. they will come yeah. here, they will follow the law. Yeah. They will come here during the coronavirus. Some of the churches, almost all the churches, even at Deboye, Oyeli, or as for Christ, they were shut down. I'm a Christian Basit member. You understand? They were shut down. But I was so surprised that in Nigeria, they opened. You understand? Yeah. They were shut down here, but they opened in Nigeria. So my, my question is. What exactly is wrong with us? What is our problem? Is it that we don't like good things? Or is it that we are just pretending? You also said that, uh, you also said this morning that the reason why our youth are getting poorer is because they go to church from Monday to even Sunday. In the name of what the, their leader says, they want to make heaven or they want to do this. So how true is that? That they, they, they are poor because uh, they dedicate so much on uh, Monday to Sunday? Okay. I think that's, as a, as a Christian now we are talking about religion, let's go to the biblical. The Bible described that Jesus Christ worked with his father as a carpenter. He helped his father and he learned a lot. Okay. Right? So if Jesus Christ worked with his father, automatically the Bible is telling us that Jesus is not condemning Job. It's not saying you shouldn't go and walk. You understand? Hmm. Right from the book of Genesis, Jesus Christ, God created the heaven and the head. He worked for seven days. Am I right? Yeah. And I don't. I don't know. I, if I'm saying yes, yes, when it have to do with Bible, I, I can also say yes. Doesn't mean I know what you are talking about. So the okay. people that are hearing me okay. say yes, I'm just yes is kind of go, right on, right on. Okay. Hmm. Jesus Christ walked seven days. After seven days, he rested. That is telling us that it's not against work. Okay. You understand me? Okay. We go to work so that we can have something we can have something to depend on we can have money to spend because i live in a house i have to pay my house rent i have to pay the bills all right the 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 some of the things you said like uh, especially when you said where in the bible in the, place in the bible where they said work can be paid for as an usher 
Uh, people are interested if only you can remember the verse, the page in the Bible. Okay. Don't, if you, if you, if you don't if you don't know it, if you don't know you want to check your Bible or where you where you you know jot it, you can we can call it today because we're still gonna have you in on video today's audio. We're still gonna have more of you because I know the way you talk this morning, I, I fall in love with everything you know about life. And I said, no, we need to start something. So don't talk, don't, don't crack your brain much today. But if you know, you can no, say. No, it's not really a problem. I will bring them out. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. You also talked this morning that uh, I thought you said you stop church because when you bring uh, your ten percent, your pastor will ask you, "Are you sure this is your ten percent?" When they did not give you okay. job, when they did not give you job, but they are asking you a percent. <laughs> Okay. It is signed in pastors as money making organization. Okay. You understand? Yeah. You know, I used to pay my tithes. I used to pay my tithes. My tithes was very small then because I'm working part time. Okay. You understand? So when I bring my tithes, the, the pastor is always concentrating on asking me, is this your tithes? Are you sure? <laughs> Okay, is, was it was it too much or you think it was still little today? It was too it was too small. <laughs> because now, if we talk about ten percent, those people who are listening, if you are doing full time, depends on how much you are. Doing. Hold a minute. We have a, there's a situation here. Uh, okay. You said those people that are work, uh, those people that are working. If you are, if you bring ten percent, that is where you stop. Okay, some people that is watching now, mm. they know what I'm talking about. There mm. are some people they hang on to one thousand five. Mm. Their ten percent is going to be different. Okay. There are some people they hang on to about seven hundred. Their ten percent is going to be different. Yeah. I was working earning five hundred. Okay. So my ten percent is going to be small from mm. inside the five hundred. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yeah. <laughs> so for him to ask me, is this my 10%? He just says, Sister Lisa, you have been bringing this money, bringing this money for your tithe. Is this your 10%? Your 10%? <laughs> this is all you can bring. Ah, uh, Pastor, it's the amount I receive. This is the 10% from me. So where, where is it written no. in the Bible that 10%? The Bible no percentage that time. Why was it described in the Bible that? 10% should be your tithe out of your salary. Okay. When the, when the pastor wants to take from you, they go to the uh, Old Testament. Okay. So when they want to take something from you, they go to the Old Testament. What did the Old Testament? When they want to find out the truth, they go to the New Testament. You mm. understand? Okay. And there is a place in the Bible where God abolished tithes. You understand? Is that even tight is not even money. Tight is cross from your farm. Mm. Because you there was because me. there was no money, then we were all farmers then, I think. God bless you. It's not money, it's cross. Ten percent from your school. Those are the things you see that some churches who do harvest today, they, they now sell the food to the poor. So because of the question, that pastor asked me, although I laughed over it, I was upset. That's why I was telling you this morning concerning Matthew. Okay. When I told you about Matthew 25, you should go and read from 35. All right, and okay. Decide, no problem. Let, let us not uh, capitalize on uh, religion much because it was a bit funny and truth uh, from my perspective uh, when you said in Africa, why we are getting poorer, uh, mostly the youth, that uh, they will go to church from Monday to Sunday. How can somebody who go to church from Monday to Sunday be financially successful? Then that thing just, you, you know, good. You said they are in Milan. Hmm. Yeah. Have you seen any youth around from Monday hanging around? They're looking for a way to hustle because they have to pay their bills. Hmm. 
Mm. You understand? Yeah. They have to pay their bills. But in Nigeria, you get some youths, they are sleeping from morning to afternoon. In the evening, they are going to church. Okay. All right. Okay, now we will go to the other question that you want you may mention of that and I turn it to a question. You said uh, who is government? We are all government. And you now yeah. expansiate it. Yeah, I don't know if you can still remember. Yeah. And you also said a time will come that we may not have any youth to to handle any position because as it is now they make it so useless that nobody is fighting to go school and all that it's not okay okay go ahead and now you know where i am okay i did a video concerning that saying that education is not a scam okay. you understand yeah. if you are a graduate you don't have a job and you can read and write Education is not a scam. That means if you cannot get a job in Germany, you can get in Canada. You understand? Okay. And if you are a graduate, you can read and write. Your secret you can keep. Education is not a scam. Okay. In your kitchen every now and then, if you have a cup of tomatoes, you have to read the ingredient and how to use it. Education is not a scam. Okay. You understand? Mm. If you go to any shop, anywhere, anything that is written, whether uh, anywhere, and you can read, a little bit of education can, uh, can enlighten you and can take you to the way. Education is not a scam. Okay. Okay? The reason why I use that word, why I said that uh, in future we're not going to have uh, future leaders, is because that our hope... Our future leaders are concerned about prosperity. Yahoo! They are stealing. They are sleeping in the streets. They are trying to make his fault. They are taking care of the responsibility of their parents when their parents failed. You understand? I remember then that uh, women, married women used to travel to Italy for prostitution for their children to go back to school to become somebody. But in our days now, it's the other way around. The children travel, they come, and the mother now starts using the money to have their own young boyfriend at home, which is very sad. You get my point? Okay. Now, and, um, if it's not something that you believe me, next time when there is time, I will, I will pay a visit to Milan. I'll take you to places where girls work. Okay. I'm talking about 17 years, 16 years. You understand? That's mm. supposed to be in school to learn how to read and write. You understand? Mm. So many people came here today thinking the responsibility. And uh, you have parents. not really tell me the what I want to hear in this. Uh, uh, how do I put it? Just now, we are all government. Let me remind you. I know you were not ready for this. You said. We are all government. People start uh, yes. blaming government or Buhari that in abroad, everybody, they are government. You now say, for instance, there a day or sometime you are coming from somewhere, somebody throws something. Person from nowhere, as far as foreign now, or Ibo people are concerned, they will just call you, hey, pick that stuff. If you refuse, they call you yeah. police. That what they are trying to say. They say if that yeah. is how you, they have everybody have been throwing something on, on the ground, you wouldn't have made this our country or community the way it is positively. Then yeah, you now I, you now said you. we are all government. That we in Africa should also try and support there. government. I was actually coming there gradually. You understand? Mm. I just wanted to emphasize on that education. And because of because of time. The reason why I said we are all governments is in our country, you know, like you said something the other of your video. You said when you when you got to uh, Milan, when you went to uh, you went out, mm. they quickly they quickly told you how things function here. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, you are right. Okay. And now you now follow up the instruction for you not to get into trouble. Yeah. Okay. I wish in Nigeria, if you travel down to Nigeria, 
that you are actually doing the same thing. Someone will tell you, I bet forget that thing, nothing they happen. They don't feel anything. I bet if you just do anything you want, that is a wrong sign. Yeah. You, you get my point. It's a wrong sign. Mm. And why throwing anything off? Because it happened to me when I came to Lagos. So I was scared because I bought Gala. I was scared to throw the rubbish I was having in my hand. Mm. You know, because I was used to it that no, I don't want people to see me throwing something off. It, it looked as if that I'm not a good citizen. Mm. So a guy that was with me told me, I believe that thing, now you won't change them. Because mm. you don't go abroad, you know what? Now you won't come change the society. I bet you where. You, you get me now. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say now is, if we want a better Nigeria, all of us are going to join hands together to work with the government. Everybody has got their own role to play. The, the government have their role to play. The religious leader have their role to play. Our parents have their own role to play. We, the citizens, have their own role to play. There are things I don't do here. I don't do them because if anything happens, if the white people say they are going to lock you up, they will lock you up. They will show that example. Mm -hmm. And every of our Nigerian citizens, whether it's from Kenya, from Ghana, anywhere, when they, when they come here, they respect the law. They are scared. And if you can ask some people, when it comes to the time of investing, some of the things we see here, some of the companies we see here, are not created by the government, are created by individuals. You understand? Yeah. Are created by individual to employ somebody, whether it's one or two. So now, if we say traveling is part of education, I think we can look for a way to put our hands and our heads together to see how we can participate to make our country make Nigeria a better place because. Hello? Hello, I thought you said actually hold on. All right, go ahead. Okay. So we can't really make our country a better place. You understand? Everybody thinks that we live abroad, I will make life here. Of course, abroad is good to live in, but there is a struggle. Our country is better. I am telling you. Our country is better. If you, if you live around people who have got documents, you think, oh, wow, our brother is sweet. Do you want to hear the story of those people who don't have documents? What they are going through? What they are passing through? So I think it is our time that we all need to come together as one to join hand to help the government. And I think that the religious leader have a, a lot role to play on this. Why they are not playing their role? By advising the youth, those who got followers, 20 million followers, 10 million followers, instead of using it for business, advise them to be responsible. You, you, you understand me? Yeah. All right. So uh, if we, if we this, is where, this is where we are going to stop today. We are still going to have you. And uh, if possible, people are willing to share their experience. We will have this program at least if it's every Sunday after church, after work. So this is the first time we are starting it, although I promised over a month ago or two months that uh, we should try and have something like this so that we will know how to set up ourselves and believe that we can never be strong forever. If I didn't take the bull by the horn, I think by now I should still be working in Europe and be begging money. But when I see that I was not going, uh, I was not progressing through my managers, which are my family, I decide to say, what is the need of doing with fine boy? I'm here in abroad looking like Oibo, and I have nothing to, you know, uh, present, talk about. Can I trip you something? Go Can ahead. I trip you something if you permit me? Yeah. You know why people think they are okay here? Yeah. Imagine someone that is very poor in Nigeria mm. and managed to succeed and enter here. Mm. So when you find pasta, when you find spaghetti and tuna, you understand? 
when you can just go out and it's okay, just say, ah, thank God, I feel entire abroad. Mm. That is because of that is because of the environment you are coming from. You understand? Mm. But I got so many friends who are coming to this place for visits. They don't have any intention of staying. Mm. They come for visits, they go back. They yeah, always tell you there's something in Nigeria. Even Obi Kubana, if you know the latest uh, popular young man from uh, Oba and Nambra, the interview yeah. he granted to BBC or something like that, PG News, he said there is money in Nigeria that we should work and work harder. So uh, undermining what people may think of, what people are saying about him, that word, I've heard it time with that number, my mother did the same thing, work harder and achieve uh, more. And I believe if I what we really need in Nigeria is a good road, electricity and security. Every Nigerian can do better for themselves. That is it. There is money in Nigeria, not can just I, money, there I is too much something? money in Nigeria. Can I treat you something? Go ahead. But do you know you know the Pope. Yeah. You know the Pope here. I am not saying I am not saying the white people are perfect, you understand? But I'm only saying that they have the positive side we can learn from them that they going that is going to help us. Do you know the Pope, the Catholic, the poor people can go there and pick food from there. Are you getting me now? Mm. Our religious leaders, they've got schools that their members can't even attend. They've got private jets, two, three. What are they using it for? And they tell you, God is going to provide for you. God is going to help you. Listen, you are my helper. I am your helper. Are you getting me? Yeah. We are created for that. Then if I come and tell you I'm not eating things, and you not tell me God is going to provide, and you have a little to give to me. My mom once said that when someone cannot give you from the little to he or she has, when, he, when she got a lot, she won't give you anything. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're going to call this, uh, we're going to call it a day so that we won't take much time because president did not... Uh, uh, at the initial time, uh, she did not grant this uh, this today's own because we have other things to do. But she later yeah. granted it because I tried to shed more light. But taking much time, I don't think uh, being the first okay, time, no I don't problem. want her to start debating it. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Uh, I am. I experience the same way. I experience positive things. I'm not mistaken, that is the same way I experience so many things that are not worthy to be talked about in terms of, you know, maybe fail or whatever. So most stories, they are my stories. Uh, 2019, after I stay in Nigeria for over almost a year, for the first time I stay in Nigeria up to a year, almost a year so normally if i stay in nigeria up to a year i will have some sign uh, you know i have to come back because i took injection that last to have to last for 10 years i think i have exhausted six years already so when i stay in nigeria up to a year 2000 from 18 to 2019 i was not feeling comfortable there is what they call a uh, sniper you know because the back of my house or rather one of my house they've not developed it yet so after some time you see crow crush you will see this so anytime i call uh, on uh, this uh, weather fumigation or people that to fumigate it when they disappoint somebody now say go and buy sniper miss it with uh, diesel you know pour it do this so because of the fear of sniper Maybe I, maybe I inhale it. I felt sick the following day. And people that know about it was afraid. My wife also was afraid. But I say I know I never, I never ate it. 
I never had contact with it, so I traveled abroad for tests. So, because I go to places in Nigeria, tests they are telling me different thing. Uh, how can tests be telling different thing? And it's not even what I went for. So I said, no, these people will not keep me with BP. I have to go abroad. Then I arrived at uh, Bejo. In Bejo, I met one of my friends then, DJ Ben. <laughs> DJ Ben. DJ Ben, I said, let's go to my daughter. When we reached the daughter, the daughter was laughing at me. Because we let him know, yes, yes, I have been in Africa for almost a year. This is what happened exactly. I want to do tests. He was laughing. After he laughed, he said, why not go to uh, TB Joshua? Why not go to TB Joshua? Robobo, pray. Then I, I, I said, I mentioned DJ, uh, DJ Ben. He's now in UK. Go and ask him. He was laughing at me and DJ Ben say. Why we not go to church? Africa, Nigeria, church, church. If you sick, you go to church. In a measure, TB Joshua. So what am I trying to say? We take things more than people that invent it. If you need money now, you need to go and pray instead of going to church, uh, going to work, look for work. Everything you need, you are sick, you need to go to uh, a, a church instead of going to hospital. At the end of the day, the doctor was laughing, was laughing at me, said, you can't eat poison and be alive for over two months, three months. But I say, but if I remove my mind from my body, I am not feeling sick. But if I'm thinking that, hey, they say poison, they kill you, and be like, say, nah, they don't worry me, I say, I'll be sick. He say, no, it's your mind, and you stay too long in Africa, mosquito bite, and this, that, then they do test. Nothing. He even make me to do tests that very day that the result will come outside. Even fingerprint. That is when I know you can lay your finger on a testing machine. Just your finger. You put it like this. And many tests. So nothing. But what am I trying to say? I am not against religion. I have my own religion. Let us work hard. Let us come together because we are still young and strong. If we cannot do it now, the next generation may not be able to do it. Now everybody is agitating for division in Nigeria. Division, I can tell you wholeheartedly, is not going to be the solution because we have to unite before you can divide. You don't divide to unite. When you unite, you can divide if at all division is our problem. But division is not the is not the way because those crowds you are gathering to, to to form a division. You can gather then and talk to government. You can gather then and talk to senator. You can gather then and talk to governor. You can gather then and talk to chairman local government. You can gather then and say this uh, today nobody is going out, nobody is coming in until Nigeria is fixed. But you are gathering a crowd to divide Nigeria. Who division help? They will only kill the innocent soul. They will only kill the innocent soul. If your mama had the opportunity to tell you the war that they witnessed in Nigeria before, you will not pray for war. If anybody really loved you, that was alive, that want to tell you, even hearing the sound of the bomb in their village without seeing dead body, you will not wish for war. So you have to know that war is that same war you are seeing in Syria. Is that same what you are seeing in uh, Afghanistan? Is that same what you have witnessed in Libya? War will not help any Nigeria. If you know your heart strong, come together, let's put an end to something. When the youth came together to end SARS, despite the men of SARS they are still in power, this SARS was brought to an end. If the same youth come together in one voice instead of division, instead of agitating for an another nation, and speak against light, light will come. If they speak against bad road, road will be fixed. If they speak against insecurity, we will be secure. But gather yourself, want to divide, who division? You are already divided, no strength. 
If everybody must go their separate way, the unity must come first to ask for this. So division will not solve anything. This is not the this is not the main reason of this thing. So if you want to call in, let us go back to the purpose of this program because we have few meaning. Uh, the number to call is only on WhatsApp, which is 09060291622. 09060291622. Your calling is not other things we talk about. Your calling is to share your experience in Europe, Asia, in short, abroad traveling out of Nigeria, your experience. Don't tell us what you do for a living, but before you begin to achieve, how was it? And after you achieve, how did they use it? So you call in. Uh, we are not here to talk about religion. We are not talking about politics. This lady, when she made sense this money, she said, we walk, we go to church, in Africa, Nigeria in particular, from Monday to Sunday. And she now said, we go to work in abroad from Monday, even sometimes to Sunday. So how can we compare ourselves with the people back home? And we are not being paid in church service. Instead, we pay the church. So I feel it's a message that we uh, regulates our spiritual leaders way of reasoning that is why i gave her that audience to talk about religion this is not about religion this is not about politics you understand so you can call in i just called the number it's like People are writing number, please. Is the phone of zero nine zero six zero two nine one six double two. You add plus, which is plus two three four. Only WhatsApp allowed. Zero nine zero six zero two nine one six double two. That is the number. It's confirmed. Okay. Uh, any moment from now, we are going to stop this uh, show and we have other things to do and those in nigeria watching us please there is no point of fighting when there is election there is no point of killing because remember there is life and there will be life after election i can see so many people based on how you have talked to your friends back home some people say they have company in abroad so they will not like to really talk much about this thing except me thank god even though i went through those things i later have two companies in holland which i run for some years and I fold it and I'm still using the license to do whatever business I want to do. So, not how you started sometimes matters, but where you have reached. So, it is well. Good afternoon.
Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sister. Um, this is um charity calling. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Well done. I'm calling from. Uh, what you do for me, sister, don't listen to the device. Listen to the phone. Load the volume of that device. Okay, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, sir. I'm calling from the UK. All right. I just want to share my experience. I've been, I've been commenting as the program was going on. And it's a privilege to also share. I've been in the UK for quite for 12 years now going it was not an easy ride. I came to join my husband after we got married. And there was so a lot of, we had permit, resident permit, but with a lot of restriction that to even make and meet was a problem. But we, we struggled, you know? We were living as coupled in one single bed, not just single bed, student house and we're struggling doing everything but the the place the luck we had was that our parents back home they understood what was going on we told them so they even asked us that don't send us any money or anything to when you are settled and it's so funny that we couldn't even to call is a problem they were the one calling us for up to eight years my parents were calling us trying to make us look comfortable before we start before we stood up and don't you think don't you think that was as a result of you people telling them the truth about yourself yeah yeah, yeah it was it was okay. it was because i grew up i think most time is the way someone you, you you are brought up in your family if you are brought up to know that being sincere pays a lot you will do it you know it will still be in you i came to the uk i was over 30 years so that's how our parents brought me up. And even till now, my friends, they will say, oh my God, the ones that even came after me, they will say, you know, they won't do like say you, they are abroad. I said, oh boy, forget to my children, you go see them, they are abroad. But me, I can, you cannot change, my, you cannot change for 30 plus years, you've been in Nigeria, you want to come and change, Spain, change tongue. And okay, uh, that kind of did you, like, would it, well, how was your first work like? Because I see, say, you know, suffer because you were enjoying Nigeria. That's why you think you suffer. Me, I know guy has to stay. People, when guy has to stay, your husband marry, you can't work you here. Now, if you say, if your boss had job picking before, then break you up with that. Your Chama, suffer, not dead here. Chama, two of us suffer. Do you know that because of the restriction, I, for more than five years, I couldn't work more than five years because of my paper, the kind of paper I have, I couldn't work. And he, he's just 20 hours, he can work a day. And inside that 20 hours, he will pay house rent, he will pay bills. 20 hours a he day? pay everything. 20 hours a, a week, sorry, okay, a week. Yeah, yeah. A week, 20 hours a week. All right. And then it was just like five pound or four, five pound plus that they pay. Hmm. Just calculate it a week and calculate it a month. So we're struggling. The kind of struggle we struggle that we most time there's no food. It was the things I brought from Nigeria. My parents they gave me everything. That do you know that because of the way we were struggling, I was the, there was one pepper soup spice my parents did from. That was what I eat with with rice. Once the was you know the, there's in in, in Europe. There are some kind of rice that you will see very cheap. Mm. But when you cook it, you think it's too much in kafa. <laughs> that was the only one. I was, yeah, eating, was, I was eating that in the camp because it's the cheapest. Oh my God. When you cook a village, you go turn a uh, moe moe. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chama, that was what I was eating. Yeah, I was right. pregnant. I didn't know that spice. I couldn't eat it. The pepper soup I was cooking with was only with crayfish. Crayfish. Mm. I, I became sick. I was bleeding because there was no other food to eat. I bled. I lost because I, I had multiple uh, fertilization. I lost. Ambulance were always coming. I was losing pregnant. Um, everything, my child, because that was what I could eat. And I didn't know it was harmful to pre my pregnancy. Yeah. But I have to survive. I have to survive. And the, the worst thing, like what the woman was saying, I 
most of the things she's saying is true, but I don't want to. I, I don't want us to use our personal experience to do some things, to say some things. Mm -hmm. Like when I came, my pastor, one of my pastors, he when I came here, he was he now started calling me and send money here, send money. I said, ah, guy, <laughs> I don't get to with a struggle here. The man called the para for me. If you see, mm -hmm. he can't put sweat for my head, say because I don't go abroad. I think so I go succeed if I don't do this. I say what? Okay, he maybe maybe he, he was one of the pastors that we are praying for your successful to uh abroad, you know. Which success? Pa uh, I say pastor, chairman. Hmm. Which kind of success? Uh, because uh, you don't expect strange pastor to come into your life and be asking for money. So let's call the spade a spade. No, 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 chairman, see me, I know be all this one. That's why they say, if you see my comment, I say, we, we need to know the church where they go into. I know they go, the church where that person is. Now the church I see there now is a big church known in the world. Known even in Nigeria. But they are so like what I was saying, there are some pastors, they are just there to squeeze people, you know, when they go squeeze, squeeze, squeeze water for person body, squeeze them, you know, go even see, so no go even see the one to drive for your body again. All right, that this is, is where, this is where do. we have to allow one other person to come so that I can, uh, my, my wife is relaxing because it's a holiday in Lagos being a election. So if I give her the whole time, I feel, I feel not see where sleep this night. Yeah, make I just advise everybody, like people who won't come abroad. Just put your mind that you have to struggle to fight to get a better life. Don't think you will just come and everywhere is rosy. Mm -hmm. Just put your mind that I will work hard to succeed. And no matter what is on my way, I will work hard, I will succeed. And if you work hard, like, like what I'm telling you, I'm very well, very, very comfortable. If I tell you the kind of house we are living, where we are living, now let us be the black people there. We mm -hmm. both food there, big, big people. If you see, but if I tell you we started like it, they will say it's a lie. Yeah. So just know that you will struggle, but you will make it if you struggle sincerely. I have to be sincere. Know they chop people money. All this you chop people money, you will not succeed. You go cost yourself. Mm. That's just it. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, your name and where you calling from? <laughs> Abe, load the, that place you are watching from before you call us the place you are watching lower it before you ever die this number thank you okay sorry sir my able chairman good evening yeah i'm watching from uh, sweden go ahead your name yeah my name is Emmanuel Mabok. i can be here okay i just said you should load the volume of where you are watching us from yeah, I'm working from uh, Sweden. And uh, we load the so volume, load sense. that volume, that television, that laptop, that phone you are watching us, load yeah. it or walk away. Yeah, uh, I have done. I have done that. Okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah, uh, based on what you talk, uh, I understand quite well, and I want to do just little contributions about waiting like this last caller she made a very good point of waiting to happen for europe like i wrote something and that thing i wrote is this nobody to rush come to europe be the problems every person must not make it in europe mm -hmm. he gave people we go make up for nigeria he gave people we go make up for western world mm -hmm. now if you get notion say you want come western world and god make them for you you come first thing you should be able to think about is what how to get your documents mm. and then follow the right channel go to the school after you don't get your document so that you go fit make better money make person no convince anybody talk say europe or western world is not earning any good fruit if they bring out returns based on like persuasive people like say follow who no road mm. once you follow the right channel when you come western world they will be able to put you through mm. some people they come like people now me i get that experience you carry your own person come first thing we want to go first to learn to do on our go first fight you go to say the nigerian brain where you carry come over 
Europe or Western world, you go fit lunch and here. It's not possible. Now, what in that in talk means say the person now for you to reach where they go, you go far for you because you know list. Mm. Now, another set of people will be say they come, their parents they able to sell one or two properties to make them realize say, they need assistance towards like the younger ones to help assist the family. They come, they forget where they come from. Mm. Then go follow other people, begin to do one or two things. Our girls go enter street, begin to their own things. There is no life for street. There is no life for back. You can never put, if any person wants to succeed in Oga, life and Europe. Oga, you are advising them on how to succeed. Do you tell them how you succeed there and how you suffer or you just come as a student and no. begin to rosy for you? Now, okay, every, every German. Now let me come down to that one now. Eh? Mm. I came to this place eh? mm. September 2010. Mm. So when I come, you know, easy. I got my uh, invitation from my in law. Okay. As I come to Germany, you tell me, say, make I wait, make I take, make the wrong uh, woman for me there. Yeah. I look and I tell me, say, if you go camp, the camp wouldn't put you in a day. Mm. I thought, say, me, I do work, I cannot go fit to stand up. Mm. I find me here, I know, say, I go fit to. So now I find myself for Sweden. When I come, I enter street, begin to the house people, where I go. Go chop a guru. They carry me go. As I reach camp there, in four months within the period to the fifth month, I get Joe Ibo. Now the humility waiting carry me there with Joe Ibo, she did very big. Very, very big. The woman go tell me, say, come, my hand will reach back into the bath. <laughs> I must clean the bath. As I clean the bath, go tell me, say, make I put my hand for back. I must wash the sheet box. <laughs> and I stop her down. Because it's a price for me to pay. Mm. I pay the price. So when I feel that thing, I see say the problem and the matter don't detail too much rubber. I wait with humility, get my paper. As I get my permanent residence, that same month, the next month, I buy tickets. I enter Niger, go marry my wife because I don't want to get time for nonsense. Now in 2014, I wedded. We did got married in 2013, 2014. And 2.15, my wife joined me. Life no day easy. I did very humble with myself at the time I said truth. I, then I was into cleaning. I did do the cleaning. Knowing fully, I say, I get many challenges. As I do, and my wife come. She humble herself. She follow me. My husband take a busy life with go work out. Just let's keep moving. I did that for three years. Now, in the one room, we stop about that one room. This happened. All right, I'm this is where we go on, you know, stop. Sorry for those that are putting comment who wanted to call in. Uh, normally, we regulate uh, time here. But a situation whereby many are not calling, then we allow people to talk until uh, we just feel like dropping it so when the line is busy that is why when we normally regulate it a minute or two so those that are complaining you can still call in i know as it is now we are glued to television because of the election in nigeria but we also want we are also seizing the opportunity to just do this okay after a minute, if no one calls in, then we are done. If you are just joining and you don't know the number to call, 09060-2020. One six two two. We have forty minutes to go, forty seconds. I mean,
if you have enough follower and you believe as a leader, youth leader, community leader, that youth do believe in you, they do share your video, your voice. Look for one bad road in a very popular place and start campaigning about it. Look for incident that happened that there was no justice and start campaigning about it. By so doing, we can still have a manageable Nigeria. Yesterday, there was a case of child molestation, sexually abused. And the Air Force said they want to release the man that they just apprehend no less no more than four hours we said no you can't let that man go instead let us let us bring their police so you can hand over the guy to police air force we are saying no it's not their jurisdiction we say okay we know it's not your jurisdiction we are coming guess what because we call them they know who called, they know we are consigned. They know even though it's not their jurisdiction, but you cannot see crime and allow that crime to the perpetrators to escape. They realize that they don't know what they are going into. Instead, they say no, they are not releasing the person again. They want to do the investigation, they, want, they still want to keep the person in their custody, they are not interested in it. So if there is need be, they will tell us when to come and pick it as in police. That is because we show interest. That is because we show faith. That is because they know that little girl and her parent, they are no more alone. Majority are with them. So we should learn how to use our page good. Do you know so many things that are happening, it's not all the leaders that know about it. You might think I not go know. Even in your house, your wife and children will be playing one game that you as a father who is always at home or who come home every day, you will not know about this. And people in the community will say, I not go know. This news when it go everywhere, who say not go know? You go know. Sometimes your stubborn daughter will be pregnant. The whole community will know the story and know who impregnated your daughter. You will not know. But your wife know or the father know. I see that as a leader. It can happen to any leader. You will think Buhari see everywhere. You will think governor see everywhere. You think senator see everywhere. You think chairman see everywhere. There are some issues you bring to them, even though they see it before they don't want to talk. When it became public, they will want to treat it in a normal way. Do you know now that Italy embassy is now one of the best embassy in the whole world as at today now according to the complaint we have received before in all other embassies so Italian embassy now is at the moment one of the best embassy in a foreign land because we cry people cry at and we follow. People are sending me series of appreciation message, calling, you know what they are experienced before and they are experienced now. Except those ungrateful uh, who don't have my number, maybe, or who have who don't care, these are the only people that have not been able to call. Maybe they call, I, did, I never knew, I was not opportune to pick. But a campaign we just did for a less than a month now, just a three weeks, have yet them or us a very positive result. We need to speak. When we speak, if we are majority, they will be forced to listen. So let us not say, I am okay. But not everybody that can speak and not everybody that are okay. Do you know that I am okay the way I want it? Except I want to be Obi Kubana, Dangote, 
and many others. That is when I will stress again in my life. But the level I reach now that I almost settled there, I am fine. If I said I am fine, I don't want to stress myself for the less privileged, there will be problem. Do you know, depends on the offense anyway, you know there are some offense now that I will commit because of my position, my status, my level. I, I will come out like this. Do you know there are some places if I go now, they want to serve me first, which I don't want. That means I am average fine. And if I say I'm fine, let me rest, let me not stress myself, let me not come here and talk, let me not publish something. Many people will not be fine. So those of us who, who feel that we are fine, we are not fine with that neighbor doing well. We are not fine with that helping others. So we should learn how to help others in our very little way. And it will make meaning to people you never expected. Sometimes, food when you eat remain throw away. Somebody go there, go pick and clean and some come on, eat them. That means, food when you trash can help somebody. Also, what you speak out to fight corruption, injustice, can help millions. I have never go to an embassy of Italy, not even my close person, but we did it for anybody to enjoy it. And they are enjoying the service now. When my phone rings now, no more complaint. No more complaint. Unlike before. God bless you. And have a wonderful Saturday. One love.